a step-by-step -step guide on how to find life on Mars and what to do when you think you have found it. Step one, we need to send an explorer to the red planet. Remote work is unfortunately just not going to cut it here. Because we haven't really figured out how to send humans to Mars yet, a robotic explorer will do. Step two, on that rover, you're going to need state-of-the-art scientific equipment that can look for these things called biosignatures. Clues in rocks or chemistry that on Earth usually indicate the presence of life. Step three, probably the easiest part, but the most important, you're gonna need to find a really cool rock. Now, be patient, it might take you a little while to find this, like hypothetically, if you started in 2021, you might not find it until 2024, but perseverance is the name of the game. Step four, you found your rock, now you need to use all that scientific equipment to study it. First, we're gonna look for organic material, matter that is mostly made of carbon with things like hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. We're looking for this because on Earth, it usually comes from living things, either in their feces or after they die. But, 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 that's not all, because organics can and do come from non-biological processes. So now we're going to use a different instrument to map the precise chemical composition of our really cool rock. Now let's say we do find organics and other minerals that hint at the processes of life. What do we do? We alert the scientific community. So step five, a bunch of scientists here on Earth need to confirm those findings and of key importance, they all need to arrive at the same conclusion independently of each other. While that's happening, we need to store the sample in a pristine, uncontaminated, hermetically sealed container. Because, and this brings me to step six, we need to bring that sample back to Earth. And that, my friends, is where we're at today. Last week, NASA confirmed the most compelling evidence to date for ancient life on Mars. There's a really long, robust process that we have to follow to actually confirm that, and it really starts with bringing it back to Earth. And the best bet we have right now is on the chopping block. It's a mission called Mars Sample Return, and it's something that NASA and the European Space Agency have been working on for quite some time. However, last year, it was paused. There's a lot of political turmoil right now on whether or not it's actually going to get funded, and I hope that this discovery pushes it towards a yes. Because in my opinion, not just confirming that life existed at one point on Mars, but figuring out why it no longer does is incredibly important to life on Earth. If a planet that once had water and life and an atmosphere no longer does, can that happen to us and can we prevent it from happening?